tip right here on Lean Strategies International LLC, where each week we can learn something new to master and hone our skills on Google Workspace. Today, we're gonna to be back inside of Google Sheets, which is a great platform to use and build different templates and do different things that you want. Now, if you're like me, you may find yourself adding things with a calculator or a piece of paper and a pencil. But inside of Google Sheets, there's a cool formula that we can see right here that will add things up for us simply and do it automatically. So we're gonna learn how to do that. We're gonna go ahead and delete this. Now, an easy way to do it would be to just hit our equal sign and select each cell and put a plus and select another cell and put another plus sign and select the final cell. And that'll certainly add them up, as you can see, 2062. But we wanna automate this process and be able to get our numbers in a column and in a row, as well as total all of the numbers. So let's see how we can use the sum function to do that. So the first thing we're gonna do is hit the equal sign, and we're gonna type in sum, and then we're gonna open our bracket, and we're gonna select this array right here in this row. And you'll see that it automatically shows us the number right up here, because it's completed. We're just simply gonna hit zero, enter, and it'll populate it. Now, we can either put this form, this function inside of these cells manually, or what you can do is just grab this little corner and drag it straight down, and you'll see that the function will automatically be copied down to the correct uh, cells that we need them in. Now, if we wanna do it right here in a column versus our row monthly sales, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the same function. We're gonna hit our equal sign, sum, open bracket, and we're gonna select this array right here, enter, and we've got 1550 right there. So now we can see what our monthly sales are across the quarter, and if anything changes, it'll automatically calculate the new number. And so for this one, we're gonna do the same thing, grab the corner and just drag it over and you see we've got each of our monthly cells as well. And we've got each of our person cells right here, the totals. So now what if we want a total for everyone across this quarter? Well, what we could do is we can hit our equal sign down in this corner and we'll type in sum and we'll open bracket and we'll go ahead and grab right up here and just select this entire array right here. And you'll see this will give us a total of 8,263, which is all the sales for that quarter and for everyone. So that's kind of a cool way to use the sum function in Google Sheets to be able to automatically calculate each of your sales or any number that you want to do. So if we have one here, uh, right over here, let's just say we've got a 5, a 10, and maybe a 7 and we wanna add those up, we can easily just type in our sum function, select them, and then anytime we change, it's gonna re-add those. So cool little function inside of Google Sheets. Try it out, and if you got any questions, comment down in the comment section below, and we'll see you next time right here on Lean Strategies International, LLC.